Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, Earthlings, wherever you may be on planet Earth. Um, this is a bit of an impromptu video. I wasn't going to do one today because I've been busy making my tiara. However, I did see the news break about Lady Susan Hussey and her resignation, and I have just watched the fabulous River do a video in her defence in which I am in full agreement. I don't think I could have put it better, but there are things that I would like to add, and I'd like to add my support to the situation. Uh, so I'm putting a link, not that a River needs me to give a link, but in the in unlikely event that any of you have never heard of River, the YouTuber, he's fabulous, he's fantastic, and I'll put the link to that particular video of his uh, so you can hear exactly how he defends Lady Susan Hussey. So, as I understand it, um, there was a, a doodah at Buckingham Palace yesterday at um, a gathering that our Queen Camilla was hosting and that Lady Susan Hussey was there as, um, they don't call it lady-in-waiting now, Camilla calls them her companions or something like that, I, I can't remember. But um, this lady from, uh, I believe it's called Sister Space, it's a charity, um, was there. And uh, because I'd never heard of this lady before, I will just check her name. Ngozi Fulani uh, the, was the char is the charity founder of Sister Space, I believe. Um, a very worthy cause. And there was a doodah. Uh, because Lady Susan Hussey, apparently, and this is all according to newspaper reports, which may not be doing Lady Hussey any, any justice, and equally may not be doing Ngozi any justice or sister space. Um, so uh, th 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 this may all be misquotes, uh, or it may be accurate, but I have seen the tweets... Um, where Ngozi Fulani says that she felt violated, that it was a racial attack. Um, that is the essence of uh, the tweets and that she has posted a sort of a verbatim conversation where Lady Hussey was asking her where she came from. Now, uh, I don't want to comment on the ins and outs of what has or has not happened. What I would like to comment on is that I am super shocked at the neck break speed with which this situation has escalated. Uh, this is something that apparently happened yesterday, unless I'm completely wrong and I've misunderstood, which is possible. I have mentioned once or twice before I do get things wrong, but as I understand it, it was something that happened yesterday. And Lady Hussey's resigned today. In the interim, there was a tweet. To me, to me, who was once on the receiving end of a witch hunt and as a result chased around Europe for three years with two small children and living in a caravan, I am not a fan of kangaroo courts, knee-jerk reactions or witch hunts. They are very, very wrong. Whatever happened to, uh, don't need a big inquiry, don't need a big investigation. Whatever happened to, let's uh, uh, write to the lady, let's get the exact details, let's write to the other people that were there, uh, let's find out exactly what happened. Oh no, apparently not, apparently not. Justice now happens on Twitter. Tweet, 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 tweet. Resignation, career over. River said that, and I have no reason to doubt him, Lady Hussey uh, has worked for the monarchy for 62 years. Gone. In the blink of an eye. I also read in a, a newspaper, so I mean, I always take it with a pinch of salt in newspapers, and again, they may not be doing either lady any justice. There was a claim in there that the lady who said she felt violated, violated was the word because uh lady hussey or somebody had moved her hair to see her her name badge here she felt violated okay that's a strong word um the newspaper may not be doing 
either lady any justice and both ladies may say this is all a, a load of nonsense that's been drummed up by the media. So that's a possibility. But to, to have these events happen so quickly, and I do believe Lady Hussey has resigned, and then Buckingham Palace apparently have released some statement saying, oh yes, dreadful, dreadful, oh, won't accept that. Of course they're not going to accept racism. Racism is unacceptable. It's not only unacceptable in my mind, it is an inexplicable, uh, I, I just, it's an illogical condition. <laughs> and I, I, I would like to hear, uh, if I had worked at the palace, I would want to hear more details than tweet, 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 decision, kangaroo court, fetch the guillotine, bring a rope. We can't live in a society, we can't accept this. Perhaps Lady Hussey was in the wrong. Perhaps the correct action has happened. But at that speed, in that time frame, is that correct? If, if someone was to knock my door uh, tomorrow morning and say, someone tweeted, you're a murderer, so you're going to prison right now. Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Now, uh, also the newspapers, as I was saying, may not be doing the situation any justice. I don't know, they may be inflaming it they may be uh, making it more than it is but uh, it, it, it's it's tremendous to me that the lady has resigned as a result of this and that no questions have been asked no not even a week to receive or send a letter for people to just double check facts see if everything's okay perhaps lady hussey just sort of went i resign i'm out of here Maybe that's how she felt. Maybe she was fed up. I don't know. But it, it can't be that social media is controlling our lives. Please, people, if you are out there and you are woke, as they say, and I avoid the word, I don't like the word. I think it's been used in a derogatory fashion for people who care. People who care about inequality, injustice, racism or all of the things that we should be looking at. I don't like to use the word woke, but it's a gen become a general term. Be very careful, people who are woke, because this table could turn. Tomorrow, it could be you that's on the receiving end of a witch hunt, a kangaroo court on social media. And who controls social media? Is social media even regulated or legislated? Is there any control or is the whole thing bounding out of control now? Where people are no longer asking awkward questions, are no longer seeking facts, they are accepting other people's truths and one of the newspapers implied that the lady who has made the allegation is a big fan of Meghan Markle. Whether that's true or not I have no idea because I've never heard of her before or her charity which I'm certain it will be wonderful it is uh, to help women who are being abused. <laughs> there can't be anything wrong with that in my mind but is there an agenda? Isn't there? I have a million questions when I hear this story. How can the story have gone from yesterday to today with uh, an event, an alleged event, uh, to a result? And for the palace to receive release a statement which implies, uh, yeah, that's it. <coughs> Done, dusted. Oh my goodness, Queen Elizabeth II is not cold in her regal grave. Get a grip, Buckingham Palace. Get a grip, because what our late monarch did do was she took her time. I don't ever recall our late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, knee-jerk reacting to anything. And she certainly never pandered to the crowd or social media. This is a dangerous path. A proper investigation, and I don't mean a million dollar inquiry, a proper looking into the facts, talking to all of the people, checking if anybody might have had some sort of an agenda. It does seem rather impeccably timed for our Prince and Princess of Wales who've just landed in Boston and a certain person who has alleged racist palace. And now, once again, all of us Brits 
are being written off in some despicable manner or other. Please, Buckingham Palace, we look to you to set the standard. That's rather the whole point of the royal standard. I urge you all to check the link and go and listen to what River has to say. He is more than eloquent. Thank you for listening.